I'm joined by Brian Angstad, Telemiracle 45 Chair, to learn more about the online 50-50 raffle that Telemiracle has launched. Thank you for taking the time today, Brian. Thanks for having me. So to start, do you mind explaining what Telemiracle is and the purpose of the organization? Yes, uh, Telemiracle, we're in our 45th year. Um, it's a fundraiser that started out back in 1977. It's to raise funds for the people of Saskatchewan in terms of uh, medical equipment and even travel and accommodations for people that are seeking uh, medical treatment and or any type of medical emergency uh, for here for people here in the province. Perfect. And when will uh, will Telemiracle be taking place this year? Uh, Telemiracle this year will be on February twenty seventh, starting at nine p.m. And we'll go for 20 hours ending on this, the Sunday, the 28th at 5 p.m. Okay. So on top of the telethon, the Kinsman Foundation is now adding the 50-50 raffle. Can you talk a little bit about it and why you decided to add it this year? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, last spring, as we all know, the world changed. Um, so us at Telemiracle, we decided that we need to needed to adapt and uh, try to think outside the box of some ways to raise some money with uh, everything COVID related, the economy's down. And we just wanted to make sure that we raised enough money for the people of Saskatchewan to fund all the applications. Uh, so we put our heads together and we decided to come out with uh, the first ever 50-50 for Telemiracle. So um, it's something we're really excited about and we hope it's a good success this year and something that we can launch from here and every year after this. So. And you did just touch on it, but um, as you mentioned, financially, both fundraising has been a struggle for a lot of organizations, as well as people who typically donate may be a little more money conscious than usual. So are you hoping that having both the raffle and the telethon will kind of address that issue and kind of give them two different ways to donate there? Uh, we hope so. But one thing that uh, surprises me with the people of this province is people will rally behind the cause and come together for, especially for Telemiracle. So we are fortunate that way. And uh, this is just another way to bring in some revenue for the show. So we have those dollars to fund those applications. And is there a minimum you're hoping to raise both with the telethon and with the raffle? You know, that's one thing we actually never do. We never set a goal because every dollar that we do raise, we are appreci we appreciate it. So um, anything we do this year is, going to be a plus and we we just really look forward to seeing that total get higher and higher on uh, Telemiracle weekend. Awesome. Um, so in addition to the raffle, will Telemiracle look any different this year due to COVID-19? Uh, yes, it will. Um, one thing that we had to do this year and one thing that we're excited to see is we're this year's show is kind of a hybrid show. So it's not a full live show. It's going to be a lot of pre-recorded, a lot of virtual aspects to it. Uh, so all your SAS talent and all your national casts are pre-recording. They're actually pre-recording this week as we speak. Um, so that will all be pre-recorded. And we're also with it being a 40, the 45th year and anniversary year, we're going to do a lot of throwback to previous years and big moments in, in, in the past with uh, the 45 years of Telemiracle. Um, so yes, it's going to look a lot different, but I'm not going to let, I'm not going to give you all the information because people are going to have to tune in to see, because we have some surprises and it's going to be exciting. Awesome. And when will the 50-50 draw take place? The 50-50 draw will take place on, uh, well, the deadline for tickets is February 26th. Uh, and then we are going to announce the winner on February 27th, right before the show on our countdown to Telemiracle show, uh, which will be broadcast on telemiracle.com. Awesome. A bit off topic, but every year the Telemiracle has a unique teddy bear. Do you have any information on when that is going to be revealed? You're going to have to stay tuned. It's uh, the sneak peeks are going to happen next week. Um, just I'm a little biased, of course, but the bear this year looks pretty cool. <laughs> okay. And is there anything you'd like to add on the topic while we have you? Uh, just for the people, just to support, you can go to telemiracle5050.ca to buy your 50-50 your tickets. Or if you do want to donate, you can go straight to telemiracle.com and you don't have to wait for the show itself. You can donate today. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Brian. I appreciate you speaking with us today. Awesome. Thanks for having me.